everyone? I have a brand new movie review for you guys today, and today we're discussing Liam Neeson's brand new revenge thriller, Cold Pursuit. I said it's another Liam Neeson revenge action thriller, and let me tell you this, I, I've been kind of sick of them. Like, I like Taken. I even liked um, Non-Stop, but really overall, they kind of just become airplane movies to a sense where I, I can enjoy them, I can have fun with them, or I'll never watch them again. It's also hard to recommend if you're not in the mood for those, or in fact, if you're kind of tired and stale of them. Since this has really been much the back half of Liam Neeson's career ever since Taken came out. One thing I can definitely say about Cold Pursuit is, is it's very refreshing revenge thriller thriller and it's also a very refreshing Liam Neeson and it's a different take on the revenge thrillers. Since this is very much a parody film of any type of action thriller or even a revenge thriller again. Take a shot for every time I say revenge thriller in this review because woo, I'm about to say it a lot. I said this very much is a parody film set on those standards. It kind of harkens back to the days of Airplane or even Blazing Saddle which is something that I haven't seen in a while. The last couple parody films that I can even remember remotely is scary movie, superhero movie, epic movie and I mean some of those are trash. Old Pursuit is different and I enjoyed that. The trailers, that's not what this film was looking out to be. It was looking like a normal pedestrian man getting all these skills able to go after someone who killed his son. Nah, this is very much also a realistic take on that. He Liam Neeson just plays a snowplower who loses his son to a drug dealer and he wants revenge. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna do the best stuff that he can to get to him. Also in a very realistic manner. There's some scenes in here where he's punching a man multiple times and getting tired. After he gets tired, he's like, ah, oh, you know what, screw it, and just shoots them. Because what else is there to do? See the consequences within his eyes. He just is a normal man. And I love that he played that off of himself. Something again that we have not seen Liam Neeson do in a while. This guy is a great actor and it was great to see him play a different type of role and go off again and parody himself within this revenge thriller. The film is very on the nose and it's something that I did not expect going into this movie. I expected, oh yeah, I'm going to get some good Liam Neeson action in here and that's not what you get. There is action in here, but this is really much a dark comedy set into these parody routes. Again, is a very refreshing take on the revenge thrillers. You take another shot for that? really appreciate what the writer and director did for this film. It's different, it's refreshing, and I adored it. But I can say sometimes the film does feel a little bit too long. Going into this film not knowing that it's gonna be like this and be weird, it, it takes a bit to get into the tone. It took about 20, 25 minutes to really understand what this film was going to be like. And once I finally got to that point, I was in for the full ride. It does stretch a little long and it does parody again a majority of the stuff that happens in revenge thrillers where you have the different kind of outliers the different double takers the backstabbers and all the different twists that it tries to put into this and sometimes it does stretch and i feel like there could have been a couple scenes where it does get snipped out even other characters that could have been snipped out there are some clever little nods to the whole film where you see little subtle things that get called back there's one subtle moment in this film earlier on where two cops are just driving past Liam Neeson's character and that central sequence actually tied into something towards the end of the film I look back and I was like that is very smart and a nice callback. Before I get to my final thoughts, guys, make sure to let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Are you guys excited for it? Have you seen any trailers for it? Let's talk about it down below, and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button again, because I always bring you guys early movie reviews and movie news. Plus, you guys can get into early movies by checking out Samashan Films. Cold Pursuit, it's again a very original, refreshing take on the revenge thriller. It's smart, it's on the nose, it knows what it is, even though it could have been cut up and chopped up a little bit to kind of get to a more straightforward ending and cut out a couple characters that we didn't really need i can say this i enjoyed this film i'm going to recommend this film pursuit is definitely a very original take on the genre and it's glad to see another parody film within this genre and even a dark comedy in the sense I like these original ideas and i hope to see more from whatever this director and writer does next with all that said i'm gonna give cold pursuit a b plus a film to check out so make sure to look out for this film guys thank you guys again so much for watching this comment down below your thoughts check out my channel hit that like and subscribe button check out sandwich on films and i'll see you guys soon stay classy